my name's Steph and I'm a makeup artist from Glasgow. Welcome to my channel. I've started this with YouTube channel so that I can share some tips, tricks and advice about makeup. So if you're interested in that then just keep on watching. So in today's video I'm going to be comparing liquid cream blush. Blush is the favourite part of mine of the makeup routine and um, since I discovered cream blush I've never looked back. Um, so these are the two brands that I'm going to be comparing today. So we have Glossier Cloud Paint. It's a, a cream a blush from Glossier. I use these in my freelance kit and I'm really really a big fan of them um, and we're going to be comparing the MUA liquid cream blush which as you can see is pretty much a direct copy of the Glossier cloud paint. Now the Glossier cloud paint is £16 each um, and I think that their shipping is quite expensive so you do end up like paying a wee bit more than that but I found these in Superdrug for £2.50 each. They didn't have all the shades um, that I needed to compare with all the shades I've got in my kit, but these are these are the ones that I could find the closest matches to. So if you keep on watching, I'll be putting on a bit of foundation and testing these and seeing if the glossy cloud paint is definitely worth the investment or whether you can get away with using the £2.50 version. So if you want to see that, just keep on watching. application just basic foundation and concealer so that I can have a good canvas to test the cream blushes okay so that's my foundation applied um, just a plain a blank canvas base, foundation and concealer, no bronzer, no powder, no nothing. And the first shade that I'm going to test today is the Glossier Beam, which is a peachy shade, and the MUA is called Peach Puff. So as you can see on the packaging, the the shades are in a, are an exact match, but these are the ones that match the closest. So. Um, I'm going to do one on one side and one on the other and just see how they compare in consistency and consistency, texture, pigmentation, things like that. Just starting off with the glossy cloud paint and beam and I'm going to actually apply these products with my finger. That's the way that I would normally apply it on my clients as well. Um, just I find that patting it in with your finger, it just helps the product to melt into the skin. Your hands actually heat the product up as you're patting in and it gives a more natural finish. I might, it might have been a bit OTT with this, but that doesn't matter. It's a comparison video, we're not going anywhere. So I'm just patting that into the skin. As you can see that's a nice peachy colour. Quite a natural flush, you can see the difference there. I'm just going to, on the other side, do... MUA Peach Puff. On the back of my hand are quite different. That's the Glossier. Looks a bit darker than the um, the MUA version. Same again. Apply a couple of wee dots. I can see straight away that it's definitely sheerer than the Glossier. And I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It's definitely a lot glowier. It's quite, it's quite, it's actually like it might have a bit of an oil base. The glossier ones, when you pat them in, they do become quite a powder finish. Like, that doesn't feel as though I've got any liquid product on there, it just feels like foundation. Whereas, this actually feels like I've got some sort of glowy product on top. So, there you go. Definitely lighter in pigmentation and a bit oilier in texture. So after first impressions I wouldn't say that these are an exact dupe at all but I don't actually mind the way the cheaper one looks right now. I'm applying a wee bit more just to see if I can bring it up to that sort of level of pigment. 
that's a serious amount of product I've put on that side there. Just see if it's letting me build it up. I don't know if you can actually see the difference in skin texture on camera. The glossier, the glossier one is definitely a lot matter. Um, I'm actually going to just press air this with my foundation brush to see if it mattifies down a wee bit. I uh, like the other side. It doesn't actually look too bad. I actually really like the finish of both of them. The glossy are definitely more pigmented in that shade. So for the other shades, I'll just speed through and give you a quick um, rundown of how they can plan to take it all off. I'm going to try out is Glossier and Dawn and you've got M-U-A in Tiger Lily so as you can see on the package again no exact match but these are the, the closest to um, to that sort of orangey shade same again I'm just going to put them on the back of my hand and apply with my fingers okay, so on my hand this is the Glossier in what's that called this this is Glossier and Dawn and this is the MUA Boshed in Tiger Lily and as you can see the Glossier is straight up orange whereas the Tiger Lily is pretty pink same again, a couple of wee dots Ooh. I always completely underestimate this it'll take a wee bit more blending in <laughs> to look normal it's my only gripe about the Glossier Cloud Paint is that it's so hard not to squeeze out too much and then when you've put it on the back of your hand you feel as though you sort of need to use it <laughs> so that's how I'm always cutting a bit like this you spend all that time and foundation covering up your rosy cheeks and then put them straight back on again there we go, so as you can see Glossier Cloud Paint and Dawn is very very orange on me um, it's a really really nice shade, it's dried very very matte I can run my finger across there, it's completely dried in and what's actually nice about it is see when you actually press on your skin you can still see your skin texture so if you have like nice freckles and stuff like that it's gonna be a really, really nice product for letting your natural skin show through MUA blushed in Tiger Lily so this is definitely pink you can see a complete difference there really strange because the tube's very very orange Okay, so that, that shade in the MUA product is definitely much more pigmented and matte than the first shade. So that's probably the closest in texture to the cloud paint out of any of them so far. Any of them, I've only done two. Um, that's definitely the closest in texture. And as you can see, you can definitely build the pigment up in this one a lot easier. Ooh. she went there, she went there say cloud paint in Dawn definitely very pigmented dries matte nice and natural finish the, bl the blush in Tiger Lily for the MUA is definitely more pigmented than the previous shade dries a lot matter, has a nice sheen to it I really really like that shade that's pretty good pretty good for £2.50 Okay, I'm going to take my foundation off again and go on to the last shade. So, last but not least, these are the last shade comparison that I've got. So this is Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. And this is the MUA blushed cream blush in top tangle. This is probably the closest match, I would say. Um, this oh, I'm like I'm mixing myself up because I'm upside down. <laughs> this one here is the Glossier, and this one here is the MUA. So I'm just going to same again. Start with the Glossier. Hmm. 
think this is my favourite shade of the glossy one. It's so natural looking. And it looks as though it would be way too dark for pale skin but it blends in absolutely beautifully. Look at that. How nice is that? Love it. Okay. Same again, matte texture, blends in, um, wet texture that dries to matte, blends in absolutely beautifully. Definitely my favourite shade of the Glossy Cloud Paint. That's the one I've sort of nicked from my freelance kit and kept it in my drawer, which I always tend to regret that when I get to the client's house and I don't have my favourite shade. Okay, so this is the MUA and Top Tangle. Well, oh, this is quite pigmented compared to the other ones actually. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they look very similar. <gasps> we might have a dupe. We might have a dupe, guys. Really, really, really nice. Definitely a bit glowier than the the glossier, but fair far, can you actually even tell the difference? No, I don't think so. Oh, pleasantly surprised with that one. And that was just one wee tiny dot. That was not like, I didn't have to build that product up any there. Hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Out of the three shades, I would say that the top, the top shades are definitely the closest in colour and quite similar in texture. The MUA top one is quite quite glossy feeling. It does feel as though you would need to maybe set it with a blush and tap it. Whereas the cloud paint is just consistent with every single shade. Exact same formula. Um, so what I'm going to do just to round the video up, the thing that I really like about the Glossy Cloud Paint is they, they mix very, very well and you can sort of customise shades. That's why I love like, using them in my freelance kit on clients so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, finish the rest of my, my face, bronzer and all that included, and I'll apply two of the shades, the MUA shades mixed together and try to get a more wearable look and I'll show you what that looks like in just a wee minute. Apparently when I said I was going to keep it wearable, I'm incapable, so sue me. So what I'm going to do just for the finished look is I'm going to actually mix these two shades, the MU one, MUA one together, the top one and the tiger lily one which was like maybe a sort of orangey pink. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to mix them together. I always like to mix stuff on the back of my hand because it helps you warm it up. So that's the sort of shade that we've ended up with here. And same as before, I'm just going to pat in with my fingers. Excuse the screaming, you can hear it outside, it's foxes. Nice. It's after midnight, so the foxes are out to play. So oh, it's quite pigmented so I'm just going to use my foundation brush again just to dull it down a wee bit. Nice, nice, very nice. Oh, them lips are dry. So scabby. Scabby bitches. Scabby bitches. So the verdict at the end of this video is Glossy Cloud Paint is definitely still my favourite. However, if you're on a budget, these are actually really, really good, really, really good products. What I would say is if you like a matte finish, you're not going to really like these. They're quite greasy eh, in their base and they don't dry down very well. You would definitely need to set them, but they go great underneath a, like a powder blush on top of them. They'd be great for touch-ups during the day, a wee one to throw in your makeup bag um, that's not going to cost you too much money. However, if you're a freelance makeup artist and you're looking for cream blushes for your kit, I would definitely stick with the Glossy Cloud Paint. They are, they dry down to a powder finish but still look natural. 
they last all day and they mix really really well. I've got three or four shades of these, they'll definitely be enough to cover your whole client base. So these are a definite winner from me. If you liked this video, please give me a wee like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any, any recommendations of what you would like in the future, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Cheerio! I don't know why Tom Jones is in my head. I love you, baby. The Glossier Cloud Point. Task. Mm -hmm.